Okay, hi everyone. This is Bill with the Raw Design. Uh, a lot of you have asked how we do our um, color changing kits, or I should say our color switching kits, which means we use dedicated colors. Uh, they're not RGBs. They don't. Each individual LED does not change all the different colors. Uh, like this one is dedicated red. This one is dedicated white and this one is dedicated blue and you can do two or three color systems um, what we're going to show here now is not only how you do a two or three color system but how you can sequence them so if you line them up on the wheel let's say you have a six spoke wheel and you do two in red two in white and two in uh, blue that it'll actually look like the wheel is spinning. Uh, there's a short video at the beginning of this one that shows you the effect. Different colors, but you'll get the idea. So, you can see we have our remote hooked up to our backbone in the normal white, red, blue, green sequence. And then all our grounds, which are these black wires, are all to the ground which is the white wire on the remote or actually it's going to be coming from your puck ring but for demonstration we're going to do that um, we're just going to leave this as it is for now so once you've got it all hooked up like that all the grounds are in line then we go to the first position which is our red we go to the second position we skip the first position go to the second position for white and then we skip the second and third position here and go to blue. Now, that's the way the sequence on this remote works. So, what we'll do is first we'll turn on the remote. And you can see the first color that comes on is red. Then you go to the function switch. And now the white comes on. Now we go to the third and the blue will come on. So you can see you can have any individual color and then you can have all the different effects and you'll see that as we go through for each individual color between the two combinations of the two. So let's keep going through the functions. Now we hit it again and you get red and white together. Hit it again, you'll get white and blue together. Hit it again, red and blue together. Hit it again, all three colors. Now hit it one more time and you see how we get a sequence so you've got red white blue and it'll keep flashing through that sequence as long as you leave it out in that setting and this is the effect that gives you the the look that the wheel is spinning when it's standing still so let's keep going so now you get that function on the red the breathing now it'll do the same thing with red and white, same thing with red and blue, same thing with all three, keep going and you get a very rapid flash between the three. You can actually speed that up or slow it down with these other functions down here. Uh, and that's the one that really looks kind of cool when uh, for the spinning wheel. Slow it down some more, you get a little different pattern too. And that's a very rapid pattern, and believe it or not, it's actually flashing between these three colors in sequence. There you go. So overall, this gives you a very different effect than just the RGBs, because the whole bike will just be one color at the same time uh, when you do RGBs. This gives you a lot of flexibility, and I, I personally think it's a cooler look. So that's how the whole thing works. And um, if you have any questions, as always, give us a call. Um, so this is Bill from Raw Design signing out. Hope you uh, learned something on this, uh, uh, on this video. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, stay in touch. We'll have, uh, keep checking the channel. We'll have more and more videos as time goes on. Thanks.